black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Today's subscriber sponsored request coming in from an anonymous sponsor, but anonymous sponsor needs me to make a homemade from scratch, extra cheesy pizza pie. Okay, so we're gonna go in with one cup, warm water, warm, warm water. Then we're coming in with one pack of pizza yeast, active dry yeast, mix that in. After that, we're going in with a tablespoon sugar. Whisk this all in together and let that yeast foam up for just a minute. We'll be back. All right, we're activated. Half tablespoon of salt, tablespoon of oil, two cups flour. We mix in with the hand and we're gonna work this for 10, 15 minutes until we have a nice formed, beautiful bala dough. Kinda wet, kinda dry, halfway in between bala dough. All right, got our dough ball here into a clean bowl. A little touch of oil. We're just gonna cover this up with some saran and then let it proof in a nice warm area for about an hour. Okay, so for this cheesy pie, we're rocking a quattro fromaggi. So I got four different cheeses here. First up, obviously, mozzarella. Let's go ahead and pulse that off. Next up, I got a Havarti here. After that, I got an extra old cheddar for a little bite. After that, a nice hard Parmesan. There we go, a four cheese blend. Smelling amazing. This is gonna be so good, I have a feeling. Okay, whipping up a simple little sauce here. A little flame on low, low, low. And I got this right here. Passata strained tomatoes, delicate with basil. I'm gonna go in with that. I want some garlic in it. Just a little dash of garlic. A little hit of salt. A tiny dash of the secret pepperoncini liquid. Just bring this up together, get it just a little bit hot, just to incorporate the additives. Okay, come back over with your spoon, get your get your, your little Nona on here. Mmm, that's perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and pound out this pie. So we got some cornmeal down on our surface here. A little spready outy deal so she ain't slipping all over the place. We got our dough. It has risen. Get your scoopa. Got some nice elasticity in there. Get your scoopa. And I'm just gonna press this out with my fingers. A little flour on here. And we got our roly dilly rolling pin. Got a weird tooth shape going on here. I don't know what this is all about. Maybe we can make it come together like this. Like this. Bring it together there. Fix this little middle section that has a bit of a hole. And then we push around. Okay, let's go ahead and try and get this on our pan here. Quick, quick exchange, quick exchange. Ah, we just got a little bit of a hole here that I'm contending with. Seal it up. All right, let's form this around the pan and try to make it nice. All right, let's go ahead and get the sauce on here. I personally don't like too heavy of sauce. I'm a very minimal marinara kind of guy so just a light saucing but i do like how this sauce is very minimal in its ingredients it doesn't have all the thick chunkies or the oreganos or anything like that i really like simple basic tomato sauce nothing crazy and next we got to go in with our quattro fromaggi come from the edges edges in So 
So we definitely want cheese out by the crust, right? And then we come on in. And I say we go for the full extra cheesy. All right, we're going for a plain cheese quattro. Let's use it all. One last thing to do for me. I'm just gonna go ahead and give the crust a little canola oil dabbing so we can get hopefully a nice gold and crispy, not too dry. Just a nice little crispy golden oily crust. Preheated oven, 450, convection bake. We going in, middle rack for 10 to 15. All right, can't wait to see it later. All right, here we are about 13 minutes in. I think we're golden. Mmm, there we go. Quattro fromaggi. Let's get this cut and get into it. All right, here we go, y'all. Here's the baby, the quattro fromaggi. Ready to get a cut. I'm just gonna do this with a standard knife. Cause I don't got a pizza cutter, which is an amateur move on my part, but it is what it is. All right, let's go eat this. All right, yo, what is up? What's good with y'all? Welcome to today's video. Like I said, we have an anonymous subscriber sponsored request challenging me to a homemade cheesy pizza pie. You guys know Quattro Fromaggi, pipe and hot, trying to do it a little New York style. Now, in spirit of the Italian culture nature, we have it right here. Quinoto soda, brio, amazing. Used to get these after soccer practice all the time. We don't have a ton of room to pour, but before we do anything more, we must pour in the skier super sender off to the side. I love a good like Quinoto cane sugar cola. They just taste so ridiculously authentic. Very different very very different flavor but the best oh man you can just taste that uh whatever like that that root there's like a root flavor in there okay this video i just want to crush i'm really excited for this i got a couple pepperons on the side and today we mixed up a runny ranch with sour cream, half and half. And I got my hoo-hoo, my Michael, because my finger's still disgusting from the other video. But let's get into this. Okay. Homemade pizza pie. My oven didn't get it too crusty on the bottom, so that's a bit of a bummer fail, but this is a, a first time trial. Never done this. Fluffy. Quite a fluffy pie. Makes me wonder what I'd have to do to crisp it. It's delicious though. I love the simplicity of the sauce. Obviously the four cheeses are delicious. Mmm. I kind of dig that it's like cloudy. Like a light cloudy pie. Just bring that right in. I wonder if I used uh, a pan with the holes in it.
if that would have made a difference. I think probably making a uh, like a same day dough, like if you let it actually set up for like more time and stuff, I think it would come together probably in a better fashion. <clears throat> Might result in a better, better pie. But I am not mad at this. This is very, very Ninja Turtles to me. Extremely cartoon. This feels very cartoon to me. Reminds me of uh, Ninja Turtles 2, Secret of the Use. The intro. One of the best intros ever. That sick 80s bop, or 90s bop. Everybody's got their slice. And that reminds me, I've been slacking on my, uh, you know, quarterly nostalgia, nostalgia movie runs. I'd say every couple months I'll hit up a JP, a Jurassic Park, a couple Ninja Turtles. But uh, I've noticed lately that that hasn't been the case. I've been slacking. I hope that doesn't mean I'm growing out of them because I don't want to. starving as you can tell I'm like 22 hours deep right now on the fast woke up prepped the dough put it away and then I went and did like a gang of life tasks I swear just leaving the house sometimes to go do stuff you're like well here comes 200 bucks like you just somehow I end up spending like $200 when you go out all shit that you need but it's just like you know, once you leave those doors, you're like, this day is going to financially hurt. That's why I'm afraid of leaving the house. Not agoraphobia.
Monetaria Ascaria. You know, you know. Unless you don't, then you're lucky. Mmm, <sighs> Brio. Wow. Too good. Too clean. Also, tell me I'm wrong. That soda out of glass bottles doesn't taste superior all the time. If it comes in a glass bottle, it's always so much better. Hmm. Well, I'm really intrigued to know how I crisp up the bottom of this. Maybe a different pan. Maybe I should have baked it on a lower rack, closer to the bottom. I'm not sure. But it seems to me that in this scenario with the dough, it was like, the cheese was done before the dough was fully like ready, you know, to be to, to crisp up. So that's an intriguing mystery I will have to solve. If there's any pizza pros in the comments, please let me know. I'm definitely looking to learn. I would love to know how to make a nice crispy true NY pie. But for attempt one. Pretty solid. Tastes good. Not the crust I was looking for. All right, homemade plain cheese pie knocked off the list. Hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.